Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on IT tutorials. I'm Josef Botnar. In this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to show you the code uh, which uh, will uh, search uh, teacher after name. So uh, this is a uh, database uh, project named uh, School uh, Registration uh, System. The code or the algorithm uh, will work in the following uh, way. I'm going to type uh, the name of the teacher inside this uh, text box and the code uh, will uh, search uh, inside this uh, data grid view the teacher uh, by uh, name so i'm gonna go inside uh, this file show teacher data and uh, here i'm gonna to create another uh, method public uh, void search uh, by name parentheses and inside the parentheses i'm gonna to declare a string uh, parameter name curly brackets and here inside the curly brackets I'm going to declare another uh, string uh, the last name which uh, will uh, store uh, the following uh, SQL statement uh, select asterisk from teacher so uh, this is the table where uh, we have to look uh, for the teacher by name okay let's see it is about this table so it's teachers not teacher so let's make the changes teachers yeah where i'm going to write uh, this keyword uh, like simple code percentage operator twice plus operator twice double codes and inside the double codes i'm going to change this first uh, the double codes yeah and after the plus operator and inside the plus operator the name operator yeah all right and here's semicolon okay now i'm going to create a new instance for this object uh, cmd using this uh, new keyword and this uh, secular uh, command class and inside the constructor parentheses I'm going to use as parameter the last name which uh, is holding uh, this uh, SQL statement yeah and the con object which is able to access uh, this method open con which will open the connection with uh, our database on the next uh, line I'm going to use uh, this uh, data pt object to create a new instance using uh, this uh, SQL data adapter class and inside the constructor parentheses I'm going to use uh, this uh, CMD object and here DT object and I'm creating this uh, instance using uh, data table class these uh, two statements uh, will uh, create uh, a space in memory which uh, actually uh, will contain the name searched yeah all right data pt dot and uh, this uh, fill method and inside the parentheses dt object the teacher data grid view dot data source property and this will be initialized by dt object uh, which uh, is storing the name searched yeah all right now i'm gonna back back on uh, design on the form select the text box open the properties uh, window select the events and select this event text uh, changed and give a double click on the uh, box uh, by uh, text uh, changed and this one will take you inside this method with this uh, event text uh, changed inside uh, this method I'm going to call uh, the method search by name uh, method parentheses and inside the parentheses I'm going to write the name of the text box where I'm going to type the name of the teacher using this property text yeah. so actually uh, this will work in uh, this way I'm going to type uh, the name here in text box uh, the name will be stored uh, by uh, uh, this object 
yeah and uh, by calling uh, this method on this uh, line the name will be uh, sent uh, as a parameter to this uh, uh, method and uh, inside this method the uh, decoder will look uh, into the teacher's table after uh, last name yeah and here I have to write uh, last name yeah because uh, we are gonna to look for uh, the teacher last name uh, here in this uh, table teachers uh, namely inside this uh, field uh, last name here all right okay so let's release this application let's see the output click on teacher button click on data and uh, let's write here so uh, we are going to look uh, for the teacher's name by last name yeah so I'm going to type a boat now yeah as you can see after I type B letter it uh, comes up straight uh, the last name which uh, is starting with the B letter yeah all right let's uh, write uh, H U so now it comes up uh, the name uh, with which uh, is starting with the H letter let's uh, type uh, N I and uh, as you can see it comes up the names uh, which is starting with uh, N letter all right so that's all uh, for today thank you for watching this video tutorial uh, see you next time